Have you ever wondered what really happens to your body when you ejaculate every day? Some men say it gives them energy and confidence. Others feel drained, tired, or even guilty afterward. So, who's right? Hi, I'm Dr. Rosalia Viterbo. I'm a urologist, and I talk about real issues that most men are too shy to ask about. And today, we're diving into one of the most common and misunderstood questions in men's health. What happens if you ejaculate every single day? Let's be honest. Sexual release is part of being human. It's natural, healthy, and influenced by everything. Your stress, your sleep, even your emotions. But when it becomes a daily habit, your body reacts in specific ways. Your hormones shift, your energy levels change, and your brain gets involved more than you think. The internet is full of extremes. Some people say daily ejaculation destroys your testosterone. Others claim it boosts your focus and mood. The truth, it's not that simple. And it depends on your body, your habits, and your health. In this video, I'll explain what science really says about daily ejaculation. We'll talk about your prostate, your hormones, your energy, and yes, your overall well-being. By the end, you'll understand exactly what happens inside your body and how to find a rhythm that keeps you healthy, confident, and balanced. Let's start. Let's start with why this question matters. Ejaculation isn't just a physical act. It's connected to your hormones, your brain chemistry, and even your emotions. When you release, your body triggers a wave of chemical changes. Dopamine gives you pleasure, prolactin brings calm, and oxytocin helps you feel connected and relaxed. For most men, this is healthy and normal. But when it becomes a daily habit, especially if it's through masturbation or routine sexual release, it can start to affect how your body and mind respond. Some men notice lower motivation, others feel less energy or focus, and a few might feel the opposite, more relaxed, more at ease, and sleeping better. So why the difference? Because every body has a unique balance of hormones and nervous system responses. Ejaculation changes testosterone levels temporarily, affects blood flow, and influences your brain's reward circuits. If you're already stressed, not sleeping enough, or eating poorly, that daily release might drain you instead of helping you. Think about it like exercise. A good workout builds strength. Too much exercise without rest leads to fatigue and soreness. Ejaculation works in a similar way. It's not harmful in itself, but frequency and recovery matter. And there's also the mental side. Some men use sexual release as a stress reliever, which is fine, but if it becomes a coping mechanism, something you turn to when you're anxious, lonely, or tired, it might start masking deeper issues, like low self-esteem or burnout. So the real question isn't, is daily ejaculation bad? It's, is it helping you feel better or leaving you drained? That's what we'll unpack next. I'll show you what science says about the effects of daily ejaculation on your hormones, your prostate, and your energy levels, and how to know what's right for your body. Let's go deeper into the details. So, what really happens inside your body when you ejaculate every day? Let's look at this step by step. I'll explain it the way I tell my patients. Clear, simple, and based on what science actually shows. One first, your hormones respond. Every ejaculation triggers a short hormonal cycle. Right after you release, testosterone levels dip slightly, then recover within 24 hours. This dip is completely normal. It's your body's way of resetting. But if you're ejaculating every single day without rest, that short dip can overlap again and again. Over time, you might notice subtle changes, less drive, slower recovery after workouts, or lower morning energy. It doesn't mean your testosterone is gone. It just means your body never gets a chance to stabilize. For most healthy men, occasional daily ejaculation is fine. But if you start feeling fatigue, lower libido, or difficulty concentrating, it might be your body asking for balance. Testosterone isn't just about sex. It affects your mood, muscle tone, and confidence. So yes, your sexual rhythm can influence how strong and motivated you feel. Two, second, your brain chemistry shifts ejaculation, releases dopamine and prolactin, two key neurotransmitters. Dopamine gives you excitement, motivation, and pleasure. Prolactin tells your brain, you're satisfied, relax now. When you repeat this cycle daily, your brain starts expecting that reward pattern. 
That's why some men feel less interested in real-life intimacy or find it harder to get aroused without constant stimulation. It's not addiction. It's conditioning. Your brain loves patterns. If you've ever felt like you need to release to fall asleep or calm down, that's a sign your brain has learned that routine. It's not dangerous, but it can reduce your natural sensitivity over time. The good news? Taking a short break, two or three days, can often reset your receptors and bring back that spark. So don't worry if you've made it a habit. Your brain is adaptable. It can recover balance quickly when you allow it rest. Zero, three-third your prostate and reproductive health. Now let's talk about your prostate. This is one of the most misunderstood parts of men's health. Studies show that regular ejaculation around two to four times a week may actually protect the prostate. It helps clear out old seminal fluid and reduce the buildup of inflammatory substances. In other words, moderate ejaculation is healthy. But does daily ejaculation add extra protection? Not really. There's no proven benefit beyond a certain point. In fact, if you're doing it too frequently, especially through friction or without arousal, it might irritate your prostate or cause discomfort in your pelvic floor. Some men even develop a mild ache or heaviness in the lower pelvis, what we call congestive prostatitis. So the key here is moderation. Your prostate likes rhythm, not exhaustion. Think of it as a balance between use and rest. Four, fourth, your energy and recovery. You've probably heard people say ejaculation drains energy. That's partly true, but not for mystical reasons. It's biology. During orgasm, your body releases not only hormones, but also trace nutrients, zinc, selenium, magnesium. These are small amounts, but they matter if your diet is already lacking. Combine that with poor sleep or stress, and you might feel a little depleted. On the other hand, many men report feeling better after release, less tension, more mental clarity, even improved mood. That's because ejaculation can lower cortisol, your main stress hormone. It's like a natural reset for your nervous system. So the difference comes down to context. If you're well-rested, hydrated, and eating properly, daily ejaculation probably won't harm you. If you're burning out, skipping sleep, and pushing your body hard, it might leave you feeling tired instead of refreshed. Your body always tells the truth. You just have to listen. Five, finally, your emotional and relationship health. Let's not ignore the emotional side. Ejaculation is tied to intimacy, love, and confidence. When it's part of a caring relationship, it strengthens bonds and trust. When it's purely mechanical or routine, it can sometimes leave you feeling empty or disconnected. Many men don't realize how strongly emotional health affects sexual health. Chronic stress, anxiety, or loneliness can lower libido faster than any hormone shift. So if you notice changes in desire or satisfaction, don't just blame frequency. Look at your overall well-being. Ask yourself, am I using release as connection or as escape? If it's escape, try redirecting that energy into movement, creativity, or connection with others. It's amazing how fast your confidence and vitality return when you address the why, not just the how often. A doctor's perspective. As a urologist, I tell my patients this. There's no perfect number. Your healthy frequency depends on your age, health, stress level, and emotional state. For most men, two to five times a week is perfectly fine. Some feel great with daily release. Others need a few days in between. What matters is how you feel afterward, energized or exhausted. If it's the latter, your body might be asking for balance. That's your cue to slow down, nourish yourself, and let your hormones reset. So no, daily ejaculation won't destroy your testosterone. It won't make you weak, but it's also not a magical energy booster. It's a natural process, one that needs awareness, not guilt or excess. Listen to your body. It's the best indicator of what's right for you. Let's bring everything together. Ejaculation is a normal, healthy, and natural part of male physiology. It's not something to fear or something to overdo. Your body is designed for rhythm and recovery, not constant repetition without rest. We learned that every ejaculation sets off a series of hormonal and neurological events. Your testosterone dips briefly, your dopamine and prolactin shift, and your brain relaxes. In moderation, these changes support balance and emotional health. 
But when the cycle repeats too often, without enough rest or self-care, your body starts to feel it. Fatigue, lower motivation, and reduced sensitivity can all appear. Remember, your brain adapts to what you teach it. If you release daily out of habit or stress, your body will adjust, but it might cost you energy or focus. If you do it with awareness and self-care, it becomes part of a healthy sexual rhythm. We also talked about your prostate. Moderate ejaculation helps keep it healthy by flushing out old fluids and reducing inflammation. Daily release, however, doesn't offer extra protection. It just adds more work to your body's recovery cycle. And we can't forget the emotional aspect. Sexual energy is deeply connected to your confidence, your mood, and your relationships. When it's shared with love or intention, it nourishes you. When it's used only as distraction or relief, it can leave you feeling empty. So what's the right balance? There's no single rule. The answer lies in your body's feedback. If you wake up feeling strong, focused, and at peace, your routine is serving you. If you feel drained, restless, or unmotivated, that's your signal to slow down. As I tell my patients, listen to your body before you listen to the internet. What's healthy for you might not match someone else's rhythm. Awareness is the best medicine. So whether it's once a week or once a day, do it with intention, not from guilt, not from pressure, but from understanding your own balance. Always remember, your sexual health is part of your overall health. Treat it with the same care, curiosity, and respect you give the rest of your body. So now you know, daily ejaculation isn't dangerous, but it's not a one-size-fits-all habit either. Your body speaks through how you feel, your energy, your focus, your confidence. Pay attention to that. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's this. Balance creates health. When you respect your body's signals, you protect your hormones, your mind, and your vitality. If you found this helpful, I'd love for you to join our growing community of men learning to understand their bodies better. Subscribe to this channel and you'll get calm, science-based insights on men's health without the hype, guilt, or confusion. We talk about real issues, hormones, sexual wellness, fatigue, confidence, and how to live with more clarity and strength. And remember, none of this is about perfection. It's about awareness, self-respect, and consistency. Whether you're watching this out of curiosity or because you felt out of balance, know this, your body is resilient and it can always find its rhythm again. Thank you for spending this time with me. Take care of your health, take care of your mind, and I'll see you in the next video. Dr. Rosalia Viterbo.